a day in the life of a data analyst in Buenos Aires. When I open an eye, I notice that there is someone who is already up. I guess it's always an effort to wake up early in the morning, but if you do so, you get the payoff. So I encourage myself, I get up, and then I begin the day. I open the window to let some light enter into the house. It is time to get something to breakfast. My typical breakfast is some nuts, a banana and an Argentinian tea. Now I'm ready to go out for a walk with my dog, breathe some fresh air, straight my legs and do some showing with him. Back in the house, it's time for a little bit of calisthenics, an activity that I enjoy a lot and in that way it is not an extra effort to do some workout. In other words, I do it because I like it, not because I have to. After that, a short cold shower and straight to my office. As a data analyst working for a bank, I had probably three principal tasks. The first one is to collect the data. In this step, I mainly use SQL to extract the data and work with it. If you want to learn SQL, you will find in the description one useful link with practical exercises. The second step is data wrangling. The most common programs to manipulate data are Python or R. In my case, I prefer Python because I did many courses in that language and I feel comfortable with it, but one of my next goals is to learn the essential of R. The third step is to prepare and present different dashboards using mainly Power BI. These are the tools that I use at my work, but there are many options. After a long time working, I need a break, so let's prepare a coffee. As a challenge to myself, I'm trying to prepare a coffee as good as the one made in a coffee shop. In that order of ideas, I use an Italian coffee maker and a French coffee maker to mix the milk. Now, I left the latte art for another opportunity and I have to come back to work to have some meetings. In my opinion, the meetings are very important to set priorities, discuss the crucial aspects of the business and focus on what matters to the company. Once I finish the course, it's time for lunch. In that sense, as a vegetarian, it's important to have good nutrition for my body and mind, with a lot of beans and fresh vegetables. Back to work. Depending on your company, the problem with the ETL process, extract, transform, and load information is that it's not standardized. You will have data from different sources, and you'll need to do a little bit of preparation, for example, excluding null values or, or converge type of data. Another issue could be merging or combining the data. In my personal opinion, the best tool for data analysis is Pandas Library, which is fast, powerful, flexible, and easy to use. So, if you want to learn data analytics with Python, you have to learn Pandas. And well, I don't want to forget to mention many courses did not explain this step. The data cleaning could imply 80% of the duties of the day, depending on the, com on the complexity and quantity of the information. Another duties could be visualize the info, build models, find patterns, and generate automated reports. 
Now I'm done with the work. I get on my bike and I go for my therapy. My wire to run. I could indeed go by car, but I love to ride the bike. And there you have it. Time to swim a few laps. Let's enjoy. Eight PM, some stir fried vegetables, an egg, and time for a fresh dinner. After eating, time to go to bed, set my alarm, and go to sleep. Another great date 